What is going on everyone? Today is an exciting day. Today is the day I start my live Barbary classes. So if you're curious as to what the California bar examination process looks like, stay tuned. How is everybody doing? What's going on everyone? Aja Mahina here, aka Your Daily Physique. I hope you're having an amazing day. If this is your first time joining me, I'm a lawyer. But at the same time, I'm a bodybuilder. For all of you who have been supporting me these past couple days, I couldn't be more appreciative and more thankful for your support and your encouragement. My purpose in making these videos is to show you that if I can do it, so can you. Remember, I graduated at the bottom 5% of my class in high school, but I didn't let that history and those failures hold me back. So I don't know what is currently dragging you down, but let go. Let go of it, let go of that old script and create a new script. You're in control. And I hope to be an anchor of support and encouragement in your life and in your personal endeavors. So today is gonna be a very straightforward day. I'm gonna go ahead and watch my live Barbary class. After that, I'm gonna go ahead and hit a chest workout. So if you want to join me in today's journey, stay tuned. So I have exactly 100 days until the California bar examination. And without further ado, let's get straight to bar prep. So the specific topic of real property that the live professor is covering has to do with something called implied warranty of habitability. So as a general rule, the implied warranty of habitability requires a landlord to maintain bare requirements. It requires a landlord to maintain livable conditions. So let's go ahead and pose a hypothetical. Say for example, you're living in an apartment where you have a contractual agreement between yourself, the tenant, and the apartment owner, the landlord. In your apartment, you currently have hot running water. But say, for example, one day you wake up and you find out that your water heater has broken. You notify the landlord and you tell the landlord to replace and to fix the water heater so that you could take hot showers. But after a week, the landlord not only doesn't respond to you, the landlord does absolutely nothing about it. You continue to persist in your letters to the landlord. You persist in leaving messages on the landlord's telephone, yet nothing is being done about it. One week turns into two weeks, two weeks turns into three weeks, yet nothing has happened yet. In this hypothetical scenario, my question to you is, has the landlord breached their duty? of implied warranty of habitability? Watch on to find out the answer to that question. So the answer to that question, has a landlord breached implied warranty of habitability for failing to fix the water heater? The answer to this question is yes. The landlord has breached the landlord's duty to maintain bare requirements. In this case, water hot water is seen as a necessary bare requirement. You as a tenant have the right to hot water showers. You as a tenant have the right to hot water showers. Because the landlord has breached their duty of implied warranty of habitability, you as a tenant now have three remedies. These three remedies are your choices in such a scenario. For the first remedy, you as a tenant have the right to withhold rent. The second remedy is that in most states, you can actually withhold rent and use that withholding of your rent money 
to use towards replacing the water heater, thus taking the matter into your own hands. The third and last remedy as a tenant is that you can sue for damages. Again, each state has its own jurisdictions and its own limitations, and so be mindful of that. But if you ever find yourself in a situation where the landlord is refusing to assist you in making repairs to the premises, know that you as a tenant have a valid recourse. It is important to know that you have these three remedial options as a recourse. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy that short little lesson and I hope you learned something new. I'm gonna go ahead and take a break now and I'm gonna go ahead and hit a chest workout. So if you wanna join me in today's workout, stay tuned. everyone welcome back I hope you enjoyed studying with me for the day and I hope you enjoyed that short little chest workout if you're curious as to what the process looks like in preparing for the California bar examination please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so we don't miss you on any future videos most importantly I want to continue making these videos to show you that if I can do it so can you you are worthy to do anything you set your mind and your heart to. There's nothing in this world that should hold you back from living the life that you want to live. You're special, you're amazing, you're unique, and it's time you realize just how amazing you truly are. But with that being said, you know what time it is. It's time to get up off your phone. <laughs> it's time to Get up off your bed <laughs> and it's time to rock. 